Hey guys, Denver James here, and today I'm gonna to be reviewing the Uno card game Minimalista version. I'm gonna be breaking down how it works, what's great about it, what's not so great about it, and my overall thoughts on the card game. If you'd like to see more review videos like this one, please be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a single upload. Let's talk about how the game works. The object of the game is to be the first person to get rid of all the cards in your hand. To start, you're going to deal seven cards to each player. Then you're gonna take a card right off the top top of the draw pile, turn it around face up, and put it in the discard pile. The player to the left of the dealer goes first. Your turn starts by laying down a card from your hand that correlates with either the color, number, or action of the last card discarded. So if someone plays a reverse card, you can also play a reverse card on top of that one regardless of the color of it. A wild card can be played on top of anything during your turn. However, if you don't have a card in your hand that correlates with the last card discarded, you're going to need to continue to to draw cards from the draw pile until you get one that matches. If you've worked your hand down to one card, shout UNO. If you don't and someone calls you out on it, you're going to have to draw two cards from the draw pile and add it to your hand. The first person to run out of cards wins the game. Let's talk about what's great about this game. I have loved playing UNO ever since I was a little kid. All these years later, I found myself wanting a different version of the game, not necessarily in play style, but in look. I wanted something that was different from the class classic Uno that I grew up with. Of course, at this point, there are a thousand different versions of Uno, from gameplay style to aesthetic. But to me, none of them are nearly as striking or awesome looking as the Minimalista version. The design of these cards is absolutely beautiful. Everything has been stripped away to highlight the bare necessities of the gameplay. And somehow it's never looked better. The colors are bold, and the icons on the cards are simple yet extremely modern looking. I can't say enough about the aesthetic of this game. Another thing that I love about this game is it's simple yet competitive gameplay. You can teach someone how to play this game within a matter of minutes, kid or adult. Yet the amount of playful angst that comes with the gameplay keeps you coming back for more. You really can't go wrong with Udo. Let's talk about what's not so great about this game. This might be just a wee bit nitpicky, but I have to be honest. While the cards themselves in this game are of a decent quality, the box that they come in leaves something to be desired. It's made of a material that easily scuffs up, which is something that I quickly realized as soon as I got my hands on the game. This makes it slightly difficult for people that are interested in owning this game as a collector. If you're a collector, you just wanna make sure to handle it with a lot of care. That said, this is a super cool modern version of the Uno game. The overall aesthetic grabs your attention and the game itself is as fun as ever. If you consider Uno a family game night staple mark, you can't go wrong with this minimalist version. If I had to, I would pick up this version of Uno again in a heartbeat. Well, hey, that's all I've got for you guys in my review of the Uno Minimalista version. Like I shared earlier, if you'd be interested in seeing more review videos like this one, please be sure to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss a single upload. My name's Denver James. Take care and I'll see you around.